Oh, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with a video today which is a functionality proof of a Visio mainboard. For a customer, first I apologize for the delay in processing the board. Our BJ rework machine broke yesterday afternoon and we spent the better part of the last 24 hours fixing and cleaning from smokes and everything. Uh, it's working fine now and uh, we're catching up with boards. And the reason I'm making this video and this is the unique marking on the board it's possible that we may have done that i believe this board belongs to let me see i have paperwork here thomas barak it is an xvt what is this 553 sv let me lower the volume a little sorry about that the reason i make this video is to show that the board is working and also to show this is how it came this connector is broken and we ourselves it is broken in a way that is usable if you're extremely careful but while testing the board we ourselves screwed it up and uh, that led to this fuse having burned it wasn't originally burned it was a result of uh, this insertion the board is working now as you can see and we can send it back like this or we have to replace the whole connector with a good one and that's another extra $20. Uh, we're going to publish that video and if the board was sent through eBay, let me see whether it was sent through, no it, it's not sent through eBay, so we will invoice for the standard service amount and if you want the board like this that's fine, but if uh, you get a whole white screen if you blow that fuse, that's on your own. Uh, we will not cover that or if you don't want that, just let us know. Uh, we will invoice $20 more or pay the invoice and let us... No, nah, no, don't pay the invoice. Get back to us, tell us that you want uh, to have this connector replaced. Again, it is usable as it is like this. First, I disconnect the power so that I don't short something here. It can open and because of the mechanics of it, if you're really careful and you keep it all pushed in, Otherwise, it will tend to get out on uh, the top end where the hinge is broken. Uh, if you keep it close and not letting it go further outside, if you keep it on the inside and flip it in, it should be fine. But well, it's up to you. I will invoice you for that amount and uh, let us know if you want it done properly for $20 more. Thanks.